Hey. I'm trying to work here. Can't you see? And I'm trying to inform the good people. Take your toy and go. We got work to do here. All right, everybody, welcome back to Hotshot Haulers. Welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be talking about a question I get a lot, and it is, what is the best non-CDL car hauling setup? So. I did this a year ago or so, now a year later I've had a little more experience, a little more knowledge of the industry, so today we're going to go over what I think the best, uh, the best setup is. Alright, so if you are new here, my name is Jason and currently running a non-CDL setup. Um, I'm running a 2018 Dodge 3500 single cab cabin chassis with a 43 foot Kaufman trailer with ramp extensions on the front and rear to be able to fit three cars. Now, that, that setup's not ideal for everybody. If you're looking to just haul cars, there's a lot better options out there. I haul a little more than just cars, so the trailer setup that I chose uh, reflects that. Uh, but I get this question all the time, so we're just going to get into it, and I'm going to tell you what my, um, what my ultimate setup. If I was getting into the business right now, strictly going to haul cars, and knowing what I know, this is what I'd buy. So... I would go out and buy a brand new, um, probably a 2020 or somewhere around there, maybe a slightly used, um, newer, you know, like a 17 plus four dually. I'd buy a crew cab. I'd either buy one with a bed, without a bed, if it's a cabin chassis, whatever option I can find for the best deal. Um, the reason I'd buy a new Ford is because they seem to be what's holding up the best if we're talking about new vehicles. Uh, there's a lot of people out there having trouble with the new Dodges and, uh, you know, unfortunately look at a hotshot Dave. He had, you know, that could have put him out of business. Um, uh, buying a brand new truck thinking you're going to have something reliable and then, you know, shooting a rod through the block. That could put anybody out of business, and it's scary to think that. So that's why I would pick a newer Ford, because they seem to be having the best luck, seem to be the most reliable. And um, when it comes down to it, unless you're buying a Mega Cab Dodge, the back seat space in a Ford is uncomparable to any other models. You have so much more room back there, like I said, unless you're buying a Mega Cab back there to be able to build your bed, build your platform, you got your storage, you've got, you know, if you want to put a fridge in, there's people with microwaves, you know, power inverters, AC, whatever you want, the whole nine yards. Uh, depending on what you're going to do, you know, either you're going to be over the road, you're going to be local, semi-local, regional, whatever. Now, as far as a trailer goes, I would buy um, either a Take 3 Ultralight or a company called Buckeye, which is sold at hot rod trailer sales has a I would say it's pretty much like a knockoff version of the take three they have a trailer called the max light and it is the lightest three car non CDL wedge trailer on the market I'm gonna read through the specs here on it uh, trailer comes with eight foot aluminum ramps aluminum toolbox spare tire it's got Dexter 7k axles all LED lighting and they will either register it at 12,000 or 14,000 GVW, depending on what your setup is, and uh, to stay under that 26,000. One, um, they say it's got medium duty mesh, and I'm gonna pop some pictures up here uh, and show you guys what I'm talking about. And it's only 4,900 pounds empty weight. Which is big when it comes down to non-CDL. Uh, it looks like this trailer goes for about twelve thousand eight hundred bucks out the door. Okay, so I was just doing some thinking here, and um, so if you take twenty six thousand pounds and you would take the rough estimate weight of a new truck, uh, give or take about seventy five hundred pounds, depending on what setup you have, bed, no bed auxiliary fuel tank how much equipment whatever we're just gonna do round numbers we'll take the 26,000 we're gonna subtract 7,500 pounds for the truck and then we're gonna subtract 4,900 for the trailer which leaves you about it will leave you 13,600 pounds if you divide 13,000 
600 pounds divided by three, that leaves you an average of 4,500 pounds per car. Now, 4,500 pounds a car is extremely high. I mean, what's, uh, let's check out here. Uh, my wife just bought a 2021 Volkswagen Atlas weight. It's a big SUV. It is curb weight, 4,502 pounds. So technically you could get, you know, three Volkswagen Atlas full-size SUVs on that trailer and still be under 26,000 pounds. I didn't know it weighed that much. I was just a good guess. Uh, but it looks like they offered two separate uh, models I was looking here. They're going to do either a regular wedge trailer or a low pro trailer. And they both weigh about 4,900 pounds. So depending on if you have um, bed or no bed, uh, you can open your options up to the low profile, which would give you a little more uh, flexibility on height of the vehicle. So just knowing what I know today uh, from almost two years in business and just reflecting on everything and, you know, where my money went when upgrading equipment or where my money could have went better. I feel like this may be, you know, one of the best setups you can buy. Now, I'm not going to say this trailer is going to be the best quality for to last 10 years. But if you can get a few good years starting out non-CDL, being able to haul three cars instead of two. I mean, personally, me being able to add one extra car here with my three car that I'm running right now. I've probably doubled my my weekly income just having that option for even different size vehicles uh, like the two sprinters I hauled. Being able to have that extra room, like I said, it's not always about weight sometimes and that's where something like that low profile would come in handy, being able to you know haul high top bands, still be under 13.6. But knowing what I would do today, like, what I know today, that's what I'd go out and buy and uh, would be making money right off the bat, no problem. So. If you like these types of videos, me sitting here in the office talking about things like that, don't forget to give a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one.